Everything around us is made of atoms. They are the building blocks of all matter. Atoms of over a hundred chemical elements make up our living environment. Each atom is itself composed of three types of elementary particles. Protons and neutrons form the nucleus of the atom. The electrons orbit around it. There are as many electrons as there are protons, which balances the electric charge of the atom. The number of protons an atom contains is used to classify the element. All carbon atoms, for example, contain six protons, but the number of neutrons in a carbon atom can vary. The atom of carbon-12 contains six neutrons, while the heavier atom carbon-14 contains eight neutrons. These two variants of carbon are called isotopes. They are found in different abundances in nature, with carbon-12 making up over 99% of all carbon on Earth. Carbon-14 is quite rare, and its nucleus containing six protons and eight neutrons is unstable. The isotope is then said to be radioactive. Its radioactivity decreases slowly and halves every 5,730 years. This is called its half-life. At the end of this period, half of the carbon-14 atoms have decayed to nitrogen-14, which is stable. By comparing the amount of carbon-14 with the amount of stable carbon-12, researchers can accurately determine the age of a sample. Measurements of carbon-14 have revolutionized our knowledge and understanding of the oceans, including the age of deep waters. Carbon is also a major component of life on Earth. In the atmosphere, it is present in the form of carbon dioxide gas, or CO2. This can be dissolved in river water and transported to the ocean, or dissolved directly into the ocean from the atmosphere. A fraction of the carbon is absorbed and assimilated by the food chain. It is then trapped in the sediments, or released back into the water during the decomposition of marine organisms. Most of the CO2 is dissolved in the water and transported by the currents. CO2 in surface waters is rich in carbon-14 because it is almost in equilibrium with the atmosphere where carbon-14 is produced. Once isolated from the atmosphere, this CO2 enters into circulation and gradually loses its carbon-14. Atmospheric CO2 is absorbed preferentially into the cold waters of the North Atlantic. These cold waters then sink and circulate through the deep sea eventually reaching the Pacific Ocean after 2,300 years. Today, the GeoTraces program selects many isotopes for its research, each of which provides valuable information that has long been inaccessible to humans. <laughs>